just finishing off my lunch there, boys, but there's no better way for a weekend than a double win over the Blues. You right, mate? I'm just trying to get Especially down. for us. Well, there's something about me and eating on camera. Let's have a look what BT had a go at me about on Saturday night. So there we have the front benches, and of course you can see the back benches oh, there, and oh, political Ryan. talk, uh, Lingy. All there, you can see the uh, big eater on the back row there on the uh, back benches. <laughs> Not unlike some of our heavyweight politicians. Heavyweight politicians? That's a bit rough. That jacket adds about 30 kilos. Fair enough, I reckon. I reckon you could do a better job than some of our politicians anyway. Oh, uh, thanks, Bebs. Yeah. yeah, maybe Wakes Marks for uh, Prime Minister. There we go. There you are. I'll split this, uh, split this, polit this uh, what do you call it, election in half. Yeah. Well, it was a great day for the club on Saturday. First was at the Holden Centre versus the Northern Blues. Huge start to the game, Cap, but then we dropped off a little bit. There was uh, three absentees after quarter time or half time. Yeah, there were. I was there for the first quarter. Okay, that's good. Who were the other two? The two learned gentlemen on my right. But <laughs> what they're saying is no pebs, no calf, no VFL pies. But we managed to hang on. We did. Calf, tell us a bit about it. We did hang on. Yeah, uh, obviously myself, Pebs, and and, uh, and you left at half time. We we had a pretty handy lead up by 46 points. We started the game absolutely on fire. Um, we knew they were going to come hard at us and. Um, that's exactly exactly what happened, but we managed to get our hands on the ball first. Our tackling pressure was was through the roof, and we were able to really convert our chances early on. Yeah, our first quarter was probably probably the best quarter of football we've put together in a long time. So uh, a, a lot of credit goes to uh, the players out in the field at that stage. But at quarter time, I just uh, saw our old mate uh, Josh Fraser give. Uh, uh, their boys a little bit of a pep up. I heard they got a bit of a rev up. Yep, they did, and um, and and. and to their credit, they fought back really well. You know, they played uh, really hard, for engaging game at um, throughout the whole the rest of the night. So, um, look, it was it was um, a hard fought win in the end, but um, we, we made we made a few changes, and Jesse White went went back as that plus one uh, made a huge difference and helped steady the ship really uh, down there and take took a few um, intercept marks later on. And as you can see there, we managed to hang on just by 13 points because they did come hard at us. Lots yeah. of goal scorers again, Pebs. Yeah, again, we're just spreading the load throughout the, uh, the forward line and, and the mids as well. But um, as you can see, that first quarter is where all the damage was done. So, um... Ah, lolly points. Now, again, another even spread there. A lot of guys, or top three guys, have all had AFL experience this year, but we want to touch on Adam Oxley. He's been back for three weeks now. Uh, 124 lulies. How did he go, Cap, from what you saw? From what I saw, yeah, pretty well. And he's done well the last couple of weeks that he's, that he's come back. He's had a real emphasis on that contest the ball, um, getting low to the ground, putting his head over it. And, and I think he's done that pretty well. He's, we know what he can do, his intercept marks and his use of the footy as well is pretty handy. He's been thrown around in a few different positions. Yep. Now he's been thrown around up forward. Had a little bit of a run through the middle as well, so um, really building nicely. And I think coming back and doing what Aishi did for a month of, of work there, and um, he's doing the same. And he's going well. Yeah, he's got a major focus of just you know those ground ball strikes, and his 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 best area of, of use is his ball use yep. um, and his marking. So he's just got to get that back to an elite level, and then um, hopefully he can get back in the AFL squad. Yep. But he's not my United. Oh, player. I was going to say Ooh. the big question: Did he crack the United and Petroleum? And Caff only boy. played half a game. But well, on average, you would have I enjoyed, you would have definitely gone if you played the whole game. You I enjoyed, were the difference. I enjoyed my week last week. Boys, this is my segment, so can't go. <laughs> so the United Petroleum player this round he goes to a player who has come back from AFL football where he was made way for um, Travis Cloak and um, come back into the VFL side. And, you know, he just keeps performing, performing when... You know, he's probably a little bit upset not playing AFL footy, and that's Jesse White. So he gets my United player for the week. He had 23 disposals, 12 marks, and two goals, and a lot of those marks were in the last quarter, saving saving the mids who uh, who got clearly beaten in the clearances in the last quarter. Towering contested mark really late in the game at, when they got back within, what was it, six points, seven points, and... Huge, huge contested mark in defensive 50. So yeah. he, he came back with, with a great attitude. Um, as you said, he could have come back pretty disappointed to be dropped after, you know, not even his worst performance of the year. But he came back and he just he looked a class above. Um, you know, we can see what he can do there with, for such a guy that his size, his power, his speed, um, his agility, uh, hitting the scoreboard, and that versatility is added to his game now to be able to go back uh, and play up four, which we know he can do really well. And he made way for uh, Darcy. Uh, very, very good, Pebs. Um, clearly, the uh, that's probably the most one-sided fan vote we've seen this year, up at 76% there for Jesse. So, great to see, great bounce back after being dropped from the AFL and 
surely throws his hat back in the ring for this weekend's game. Huge effort. But Collingwood fans don't come much more loyal than Lorraine Croft. She's a regular at the Holden Centre and was once again down in attendance on Saturday. Let's have a listen to what Lorraine's votes were for the weekend. Tonight I have given three votes to Jesse Wide. I think he's had a good game tonight. Two votes to young Matthew Smith, a VFL boy. I felt his tackling and his um, endeavour to get the ball to his players and bring him into the game. And one vote to um, Adam Oxley. So one to Ox, uh, two to Matty Smith and three to Jesse. So you and Lorraine must be in uh, cahoots, Pebs. Yeah, we speak a lot of training. She comes down to training nearly every, se every session. W nearly every session? Were you? I think every session. I think you were a favourite player. Wow. This is what I've heard. I should be. Wow. Well, after wow. a number of weeks on the sidelines, Timmy Broomhead returned from an ankle injury against the Northern Blues. Here's what Dale Tapping had to say about Broomie's game. Sweeper. Yeah, he got through. He's you know, sort of first game for six, seven weeks. So... Um, yeah, got back into the game. That yeah, there's a lot of improvement with Tim, and yeah, we, we all know his quality. It's just a matter of you know, getting a clean run at it and putting it all together. But he, um, yeah, he, yeah, he, he'll be better for it. Yeah, better over the next few weeks. What's going on? He's had the rinse again, hasn't he? Yeah, what's going on that neckline? A bit red, a bit oh, red, wasn't it? Fired up. He must have been. Well, he would have been fired up after that last quarter. But yeah, bring me back. Play yep. three quarters. What did you say? It's great to have sweeper back. Um, sweeper. sweeper. Come, come Why on sweeper? Out. Broomhead. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, it's it's logical. Come on, mate. Pretty obvious. Isn't yeah, it? yeah it came on at, at quarter time and uh, had an immediate impact. Got his hands on the ball really early. One of those really classy, smooth moving players um, around half forward midfield. And obviously, he's just going to get some footy um, into him now for you know a, at least two or three weeks. And um, he'll be another one that'll throw his, his name in the ring and um, hopefully get back into that senior side because he's such a classy guy. We could really use a guy like him uh, up forward in the senior team. I'd love to see him just get some consistency. Um, week in, week out, just getting some game time and, um, you know, we'll see the best of Broomy in three or four weeks' time. Well, yep. the squad's building, we're getting healthier, which is great news for everyone, so the more guys we can get up to speed, the stronger the both sides are going to be. Hang on, guys. i got a birthday shout-out. Oh, we're going early on the birthday yeah. shout-out. Yeah. So, my birthday shout-out for today is my wife, my oh. lovely wife. Oh, oh yeah, look at yeah. that. Jeez, you are lean, mean. You're, you're definitely not an overweight stack bencher there, Pebs. You're yeah. unrecognisable, there. She looks hot too, by the way. But yeah, uh, yeah, happy because. birthday, uh, hope you have a great day and she, she watches the show every week. Does she? Oh, she's our one! No, Fantastic! She doesn't watch a show, but uh, she might watch it this episode. Oh, brilliant. That's very sweet of you, Pebs. Hold on, mate. Thank you. You're a good man. Now, Brandy points. Capaletta! Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't think much has changed. I think we were fourth last week, if I recall correctly. Um, and we're fourth again, so we've just got to keep winning. Uh, obviously, those sides above us, they all had a win on the weekend as well. So. Um, we're sitting there nicely, but we've got Port Melbourne breathing down our necks. So, um, big game again this week, as they're all going to be from here on out. North Ballarat, up at Ballarat, so no doubt that's going to be beautiful weather up nice there. Nice and fresh down there. That up part there. Of the, yeah, Sunday game, 1 o'clock, so a uh, huge game, as I said. Uh, we've just got to keep winning, putting pressure on those sides above us. So, we'll keep doing that. Um, Get some fans there. It would be really nice and brave the cold. Be no, great. no AFL game in Melbourne this week. So yeah, get get in the car, drive up to Ballarat and support the boys. Six in a row at once. So yes, I know. Try and make it seven. Here Absolutely. we go, We're making our big run. Well, I'm getting a bit hungry. I better go get some food. But that's, where's the rest of that brownie? Yeah, oh, mate, I've, I've smashed all the food in this whole place. So oh, I'm gonna go guts. hunt some more down. But that's it for another week from the Lully Boys. Uh, we'll see you next week. Go VFL Pies. Thanks, PT. Triple M Rags for bar. <laughs>